Okay, 10, 11. Lots of messages, okay. So... Gokin, and that's Jomon. He's claimed the Throne of Ice. No idea what that does. Uh, I don't even know where Jomon is. Uh, I cast Arcane Probing and didn't find anything. That's great. Search for magic sites and didn't find anything. That's great. Uh, two more battles with Ulm and Lemuria. So it looks like Ulm is still pushing Lemuria back. You got Silverham. Uh, he just killed PD. And the second forest, he pretty much just killed PD. Um, let's watch one of these just to remind ourselves what it looks like when Ulm fights Lemuria. Um, lots of crossbow bolts. And lots of big men with big shields. This guy's very slow. Move, map move one and uh, battle move eight. They're very sluggish. But they get the job done. Wow. They've got a very big shield. Tower shield. Okay. Uh, so it looks like Olm is doing okay. Battle in Packwoods, that was my pretender. I uh, don't really need to watch that. I see I found a magic site. One nature gem per turn, that's good. I didn't have any nature income, so that's really good. Because um, I could always use nature gems, because I've got um, nature casters. So, for forging and stuff like that, nature gems are going to be useful. What else have we got? Uh, an unexpected event occurred in Packwoods. 30 unrest and minus 3 dominion. Uh, well, I did just take the province, so... <laughs> oh well, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm sure the unrest will go down over time. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like unrest decreases over time. I wasn't sure because my dominion increases unrest. No, it reduces the amount of unrest reduction I have. And I, I don't know what the base amount of unrest reduction is, so I didn't know if I was... Um, in the negative or something, and I just gained... Um, turmoil over time, which would be really uh, unrest over time. Uh, anyway, so where does that leave us? Right, the plan was to move this army into Lost Canyon range next turn, and to move my Pretender into Kopos next turn. Uh, but I now see that I'm right on the border of Agartha, and Agartha has some units in Nace. Eight Cave Knights. So if I move my Pretender on her own into Kopos, it's possible that Agartha could try taking the province at the same time. Uh, and I have no idea what units he might have nearby. This has a lot of Dark Candles, which makes me think it's a cat province. Um, but I thought Agartha always started in a cave, so I don't, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm not comfortable taking Kopos with just my Pretender. As I sit here looking at this. So... Could I... No. Let's move the army and my pretender into Kobos, and then from there they can split up once I've got a better picture of this area. Um, but for now, how does this look? Looks fine. Um, and then if Agartha does move against this province, well, I have quite a few units, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Let's go through my commanders now. I've got scouts over by Arco. Um, I'd like to stay in this province to see if he can move any units to Mountains of Mist. Um, because this is the area I'm going to be in, and I'm probably going to want to take Mountains of Mist myself, so let's put a scout in this province. Uh, these scouts can keep watching Ulm. I'm kind of interested. I've got another scout. I'll send this one. Well, I need to get over by Agartha. See what he's doing. So he can go east. This is my sight searching mage who needs to get to Dardania uh, to build a lab. And then she can also sight search in Dardania as well, of course. Uh, I'm really surprised I can make that move in one movement. I guess I'm moving through this, but this is a swamp. I would have thought it would slow me down. Maybe do I have. I think I have. I have swamp survival. 
I can move through swamp provinces without any penalty. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that. Uh, who else have we got? We've got another scout. Uh, this guy can also head towards Agatha. And we've got this scout, which can head towards Arco. Uh, this is my prophet, who can build a temple. When is this built? Okay, this fort's going to be built in two months. It's currently late winter, so this is the very last turn of the year. So I should have it um, second turn of year two. Which isn't bad for a new fort, I suppose. I don't, I don't really know. Um... And that's all my commanders. I don't have a lot of gold left. I'm going to build another Nagaraja, um, just to, just so that I've got another leader ready for when I've got another army. And I'll build ten heavy bandar warriors, and that'll be that, because I'm out of gold. <laughs> so that's the turn. Let's check research. Conjuration. Almost to two. And then we'll get it to three. After that, I'm really not sure. I need some alteration. I should probably get at least mist form for my pretender. Maybe I should start doing construction for some items for my pretender. Maybe I should go back to evocation for some of these big battleground spells like Bladewind. I'm on the cusp of Bladewind. Um, which once I start recruiting, uh, what are they called? Nagarishis. These guys start with Earth 3, possibly Earth 4. Possibly Earth 5, I was really lucky. Um, so they can innately cast Bladewind, and they can also form communions. Um, they are slow to recruit though, so I'm not going to be able to mass them, but... As soon as this fort is up, I'm going to start recruiting nothing but, uh, Nagarishis, I think. In my cap. Because they are by far my best mage, they're just slow to recruit. Um, so I'm not sure what to do about research, but for now... We'll get Epsaras, just so I've got something to do with my, uh, Astral Pearls. Although, I don't actually have any Astral Pearl income at the moment, because I haven't found any sites yet, but... You know, I think I'll... So yeah, I'll do Conjuration, and then I'll do Construction to 4. Or Evocation to 4, and then Construction to 4. Uh, one of the two. Uh, but that's it for this turn, I think. I haven't been able to contact Agarth as a player, so... It would be nice to actually ask him, like, what's going on with Kopos, so that I could... <laughs> Avoid an incident, but instead I'm just going to take the safest possible. Well, I suppose the safest option would be to just not take the province at all, but I am a bit greedy, so I'm just going to try and grab it with everything I've got. And if he in if he attacks Kobos too, well, let the chips fall where they may. Um, I think that's everything for this turn, isn't it? Okay, now it's everything. I'll see you on turn 12. Turn 12, hello. Uh, I'm kind of in a rush. So I'm going to have to go through this as quickly as I can. Uh, let's see. Messenger from Agatha. Hello, I like your four-armed killing machine. You know what, Agatha? I like her too. Um, researching Conjuration. Okay, so I'll have Conjuration 3 next turn. For Summon Earth Power. And Apsaras, if I use any of those. But I haven't got any pearl income yet, so maybe not. Still no <laughs> arcane sites found. Do I still have the gems to cast it? Yes, I've got one more cast of it in me. Dormant Pretender Gods are Awakening. Okay. Battle in Kopos. I lost one unit. I'm not going to watch that. I can imagine how it went. An event in Patala. A peddler was peveling... <laughs> A peddler was peddling in the province. A peddler was peddling in the province of Patola. Uh, so we got a lot of gems, and it only cost us one gold. That's nice. Um, and an event in Ragdon. Three air gems. So we got a lot of gems that turn. We got, what? Two, three, four, five, six, nine gems that turn. For nothing. Okay, let's go through this quickly. Commanders. We got a scout. This guy's going to Agatha. We've got another scout. Uh, let's send this go towards Pangaea, actually. Let's make sure that Pangaea's not doing anything. It's been a while since we thought about Pangaea. My prophet built a temple last turn. Don't have any plans for him yet. 
So I guess you can preach. Um, you can sight search, I suppose. Let's sight search for holy sites. Why not? Um, oh, and I got this. Speaking of sight searching, let's build the um, lab. Five hundred gold. Wow, that is gonna cost us. Okay. We've got a scout here. Uh, you can go. Oh, who, who's this? Green on yellow. Green on yellow is Pythium. Okay. He has 60 unit army in that province. In Nufia. Wow. Okay. So the reason I moved this huge army plus my pretender last turn was just in case um, I got attacked by Agartha from Copper Woods. This province is neutral. I wonder where... Okay, maybe Agartha is based down here in this cave, and up here is Pythium. But if that's true, why is Pythium only just... Okay, I need scouts over here. Um, badly. I can only imagine that Pythium is going to move into Copperwoods next turn. I don't know why he would attack Mountain of Mist instead of Copperwoods. But I suppose based on the movements I can make, I can only take these three provinces in two turns at best, no matter what. So if I move my god plus my army to Mountains of Mist this turn, I can split them next turn and still take everything in two turns. So sp splitting my army up now from my god isn't strictly necessary. So let's move everything there, just in case Pythium, for some reason, moves against Mountains of Mist. I don't see why he would, but just in case. Um, I also had a thought that I'd probably put my Pretender um, too far behind everything. Let's try double line formation. Um, and put my Pretender a little bit further up, so that she can more easily get around units at the beginning of the fight. Uh, everything else can stay the same. So we'll attack Mountains of Mist, and then next turn we'll get White Waste and Lost Canyon Range, hopefully. This province needs some defense. Uh, Ulm still hasn't taken Venna, that's interesting, because I said he could. Um, I might just remind him, I don't... I would rather have Ulm defeat Lemuria, to be honest. So I might... I might send him a message just reminding him. Let's do that, actually. Um, uh, yeah. Because, yeah, I mean... Getting stuck in a, in a war with Lemuria from, like, what? Like, turn 8 or something? Is going to hamstring him enough. I don't really mind if he actually captures Lemuria's provinces in the meantime, because Lemuria's provinces are going to suck, because all the population are going to be dead, so he can do that if he wants. I'd, I'd rather keep him happy. Um, so I'll try and stay on good terms. This scout is in a good spot, actually. Although I can't see Orm's army anywhere. Uh, I think Lemuria would attack Furry Forest over Silverham. Let's move there. Uh, you can check out this throne. Oh, what was that? Somebody else as well. Yes, this is green on black. Who's that? Oops. That's not what I wanted. Green on black is Man. Okay. Oh, yes, of course, I remember. Man was down here with a dragon or something. That's interesting. So it looks like Lemuria is actually going to be penned in then, unless he broke out south towards Arco. So that's interesting. I might actually be quite big then compared to a lot of these players. Especially if I get these three provinces. And the nice thing about moving my army this way now is I could probably go straight towards Arco afterwards. Um, depending on where Pythium is based. That's a pretty big army he's got, I suppose. It's not as big as mine, but I, I kind of remember... Pythium units being better than my units. Kami Tetenses and Palatines. I don't know, I'd have to look it up, but I think he's got quite good units. 
I have no idea where Arco's army is or what he's doing. But he has a throne. So he must have had an army at some point. Uh, Scout can stay there. Actually, he's got two thrones. Wow. Let's move up, actually. Um, this Scout can move there. And that's all my units that I have to move. Okay. So this fort's going to be built next turn. It already has a temple. It's going to have a lab. I've got 230 gold left. Can I get a Nagini? No. I can get a Nagaraja. I think I just recruited one, didn't I? Ooh, I got a Nagini with Astral. That's nice. Uh, that can get plugged into a communion. There's my Nagaraja. Uh, I might get a uh, Guru instead. These are little Astral 2 monkeys. Leaves me at 69 gold. Uh, I'm not going to be returning to my cap anytime soon. I think it might be better to get some more crossfemen here to pick up, because I do love crossfemen. Uh, how many do I have now? I have 11 in the garrison. So that's good. Uh, and that's end of turn. I, I know I keep saying I'm going to go construction next, but I don't know, I'm constantly torn. Maybe I should just get Bladewind. Um... I don't know, but next turn I'll have Conj 3. Uh, at a minimum, my Pretender will now be able to cast Summon Earth Power, so she has some reinvigoration. Uh, and my casters will be able to do that later on. And I can get a couple of like, Absoras if I ever, ever have gems. But I think that's the turn. Is there anything else? No. I've got no more commanders. I don't think I've got anything else to do. Um, I'll send a message to Pythium saying hello, I suppose. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why it amuses me so much, but... Uh, okay. That's everything. Uh, and I'll see you on turn 13. Turn 13 now. Uh, so I'm expecting nothing but lucky things. Let's see. Uh, a messenger has arrived from Pythium. Hello, this is Pythium to your northeast. Let's see. Right. So between me and Agatha, I have no idea where Pythium is. I guess he might have this whole upper section, and then Agatha will be down here. I guess that kind of makes sense. Um. Let's see. Thanks for bringing your army near, but I prefer to expand north and west from you. Okay, I guess he... Mm, well, I was planning on attacking Arco anyway, so that's not... That sounds like he's a bit afraid of me, so that's okay. Um, yeah, I'll probably reply to him in a, in a second. Uh, okay. Don't know much about Pokemon though, I don't know... I, he must be around here. Maybe this is his cap? I don't know, I'll, I'll check. I'll, I'll have scouts here soon, so we'll find out. Okay, Conjuration was completed. So now's the big question. Do I rush up construction, or get another point in evocation? Or what do I do? Some alteration. Um, let's finish off evocation. Let's get Bladewind, at a minimum. Because that'll give my Pretender something to cast during army battles. Plus my um, big Nagas when I actually get them. And it's not going to take that long. It's going to take four turns at most. Yeah, let's go Evo. We'll get Evocation to four, and then we'll switch to construction. I cast Arcane Probing, no sights. I searched for Holy Sights, which I didn't expect to find, and no sights. Battle... Wow, this was bad. Hmm. Let's see what horrible scripting error I made this time. Let's see. So it's just militias. The heavy cavalry charge, I guess, kills some of my units. Because that's just what they do. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. 
Seems more like the protracted melee kills my Vandar. Oh, are they going to break through and just kill all my archers? Okay, now I'm really confused. Why are my archers doing that? Oh god, this is horrible. <laughs> they really wanted to fire on the militia that were running away, so they all moved up. And now they're in melee with a bunch of heavy cavalry. Who can't rout because they're surrounded. Great. So that was disastrous. My Davy did nothing. Oh dear. So what does that leave me with? 30 Bandar, 30 Archers. Okay. That's not too bad, but... God, that was terrible. An unexpected event occurred in the Mountains of Mist. A spider tried to kill my god. Let's see how that went. Alright. Spider. Fury, the large spider. It is a tiny sting for one damage. Plus a weak poison. Alright, good fight. Good fight, everyone. Nice. Okay, well... Taking the Mountains of Mist wasn't great. But... This is a nice province. It's got 342 supplies. 118 resources and 79 income. And it's right next to Arco. And from here, I'm going to move my pretender against the barbarians. Um, I don't know why I'm so scared of barbarians. They shouldn't be able to hit me. It should be fine, but... This is militias and light cavalry. Uh, I'll send my god against this province, actually. I don't know, I respect barbarians a lot. Perhaps erroneously, I don't know, but that's... I'll do this. I'm pretty sure light cavalry don't charge, they just fire arrows. Uh, and the militia should be easy to deal with. So, where am I? I could also cast um, summon earth power now for the reinvigoration, but it, it costs, I think, 20 fatigue to cast, so... I don't know. Maybe I should. I'll summon Earth Power and move back a bit. To give me a chance to work off some encumbrance. I, I don't know. I'm not sure it's worth the cost for the outset just to take these this crappy unit. If it was a protracted fight, maybe, but... Right, let's stick with that. Okay. So, commanders, we've got scouts. Yep. This scout has found Jomon, that looks like. Uh, we found Lemuria's capital. That's good. Lemuria looks like he's been boxed in. Um, I didn't expect him to get crushed that quickly. Um, let's move these scouts up towards Agartha and Pythium. Uh, oh, I got my fort! Great! Okay, so here let's recruit a Nagarishi. These guys are 400 gold, but they have all of this magic. Um, and they're holy. And they get have this chance for this as well. So these guys are amazing, I think. Um, so I want a few of these. They are extremely expensive, but they're slow to recruit, so... It's not like I'm going to be able to produce one every turn or anything. So let's get one of those there. Uh, and let's get a... Yogi here. And that leaves us a little bit more gold, so let's get some more... Bandor. Uh, and I'm still casting Arcane Probing. I haven't found anything yet. So that's really... bad. <laughs> oh well. Um, I might put another fort in Lost Canyon range. So I'll start moving this commander over. Um, I don't want you to do anything though. Just stay here while the fight takes place. Thank you. Um, 
My prophet is still here. He can preach. Uh, I suppose I could send him back to Batola to lead the next army, but that's... Oh, there's quite a few units. Can you move him one turn? No. Why can't you move him one turn? Well, I could give him these crossbowmen. Actually, no, let's leave the crossbowmen here. Let's take these few units back to Batola. And we'll give him an army. Uh, you can build a lab in Lish soon, but not yet, so you can research for now. Because I don't have the gold for it anyway. I've got another scout. Uh, you can go towards Pythium. And that's all my commanders. So I'm researching Evo. Did my recruitment. So the next few turns I'm going to look towards moving units to the northwest. Um, and let's write a message to um, Pythium as well. What did he say to me again? He said... Okay. So let's send a message. Hello. Okay. I'll send this to um, Pythium. I think it says everything I need to say without giving away any information. I don't want to confirm that I'm going to attack Arco. Um, and I also don't want to... Um, I want to give the impression that I'm bigger and stronger than I actually am. Um, but also pleasant <laughs> and have no intention of invading him. Um, so that'll do. Um, Hmm. Might send a message to Agartha as well. I'll send that to Agartha. <laughs> the shittiest mind games. Um. Okay. So. Yes. I think I'll leave the turn there then. No! I'm gonna do. Province defense. Not in Venna, that's Holmes province. She still hasn't taken it. Uh, my income's okay, I'm making 800 a turn-ish. Because um, bear in mind I'm, you know, turmoil 3, death 3, so... <laughs> and heat 3, in fact. But my income is not bad. And I've had quite a few gem events. Not big gem events, but, you know, still. Gem events. Um, so that's that turn. Turn 13, and I'll see you next time. Okay, turn 14, let's hope everything went well. Uh, we have a messenger from Pythium. Okay. So... Alright, so... Arcocephaly just killed some of Pythium's troops with elephants. And boy, I know how that goes. Um, I wonder if that was an accidental battle, or if they are at war. Um, we got 100 gold from Ulm, and I guess they... Okay, they finally took Venna, that's fine. Um, I'm not too... We cast Arcane Probing and didn't find anything again. I've got no Astral Sight. This is really unfortunate, because I need Astral Income to summon any of my units. Uh... What a shame. Arco declared a commander as their prophet. Really? Isn't the commander just the basic guy you recruit from provinces? This guy? That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, Alm took Venna, okay. Battle in White Waste. We conquered that province, the barbarians. And of course we took this one with our Pretender. Oh wow, there was actually heavy cavalry in this province. I hope I didn't get an affliction. No, okay, good. Uh, and then for events, we got children disappearing at night. Unrest plus 20, magic plus 1. This is what I mean about unrest events. They're, they kind of... Um, there's a lot of them. 
But so far we've actually been quite lucky. We've had mostly these little gem events. So we've got two more nature gems. Okay. So I remembered that um, I still haven't searched Dardania for sight, so let's have Citramaya do that. And while we're at it, let's have Whimsy search this province for sights, and my prophet, uh, my pretender can search Lost Canyon Range for sights as well. Because we've got no more movement to do yet. Um, might as well gear up and attack uh, Arcacephaly. Um, could also just attack Pythium as well, since he told me that he just lost his army, which I don't understand why people do things like that, but... Um, But I suppose if I invade Arco, I'll have a, an ally in Pythium, so there's that as well. Um, so we'll start working towards that. But they can all site search. Now let's move through our commanders. Um, this guy can stay over here and sort of investigate. Um, this guy's basically going to circle around in this area. Around Arco, so, so is this guy. Um, I just want a general sense of how they're doing, because from the looks of things they have, what? Four, five, six, seven, eight provinces maybe, unless there's stuff around White Harbour. Um, so I'm not sure how large he is. We've got another scout down here. Wow, Alma's really doing work. I'll keep that scout on Lemuria's cap just to... Let's see. There's 160 enemy units. A huge titan of death and rebirth was seen towering over the army. Big man on campus, the titan of death and rebirth who radiates power. Wow, he's going to have his work cut out from sieging that, I think. Uh, so yeah, that scout can stay there. This one can move down. Well, no, you can stay up in this area, around Ulm. Uh, you can stay around Pangaea. This is my s astral probing mage. I don't have the three pearls. So let's alchemy a pearl from two death gems. Um, and let's cast that again. Uh, on white waste, yes. Because Whimsy doesn't have Astral, so yeah. Uh, we've got another scout. This one can. This one can go. I, I don't know where this one was being sent, but I'll send it up towards Arco because I need lots of scouts around here. Uh, this is a new scout. Can also go up towards Arco. Uh, what was I doing with my prophet? I was bringing him back to uh, Patala to reinforce his army. More scouts over here. Let's keep moving north. Uh, this commander was going to build a fort. I can't move to Lost Canyon Range. Why is that? Um, there is a mountain pass between this province and Lost Canyon Range, but it is currently covered in snow and cannot be used. Okay. Well, it's late spring, so that's... I'm not sure why that's a thing. Um... I guess he can move up, and then I'll move to Lost Canyon Range next turn. Uh, so there's just that scout left. Okay. So let's make sure all our provinces have province defense. Uh, this one can get three. This one can get three. Uh, can I recruit? I can recruit more scout. I haven't been checking what I can recruit in these provinces. So let's just go through. It looks like mostly just basic units. Barbarians here. Uh, I've got the sage there, but I can't afford 500 gold for another lab yet. We can get... what's this? Priests, who cares? Um, still basic units. This is cavalry and stuff. Uh, basic units. Basic units. Oh, what? Whoa, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I can recruit Atavian forests, I think. Is that really the only other province I've got that's for us? <laughs> that's strange. Okay. Um, so what are we doing? Let's check research. Evocation is almost at four. So I'll be able to cast Blade Wind. Um, I realize as well, if I get Alteration to four, my Pretender can cast Wind Guide, which would be really useful. Um, so I'm glad I had two points in error on my Pretender. But again, this is another magic path that I need to put loads of points into. Uh, none of this is going to come quickly. In terms of recruitment, I'm still rec recruiting a Nagarishi here. That'll be with me next turn. In Dordania, I can recruit a Yogi. 
And let's get um five bender warrior. And that'll do. And in Patala we'll get five bender warrior and five bender archers. Which leaves me with 295 gold, which is great because I'm saving up for another fort. So that's all good. Um and that's everything. So that was kind of a boring turn, but you know. The only other thing I should probably do is reply to Pythium. Let's see what he said again. He said he just got wrecked, he'd like to be friendly. Okay. Um, I don't generally like telling other players what I'm going to do, but... Uh, let's see. Alright. Uh, so that's fine. Okay, okay. So that's everything. Um, and hopefully I found a magic site n next turn. Like, seriously, come on. This is getting ridiculous. And I'll see you on turn 15. Turn 15. So, another message from Pythium. So, Arco accidentally wiped Pythium. Vanheim to his east. I haven't even seen Vanheim. So, somewhere around here. Okay. Um. So, I guess Pythium is just out. I mean. The temptation then is to actually just invade Pythium then, I mean, if he can't do anything. Why not, right? Um, I don't know, I'll... I guess I'll focus... Oh, Arco's got two forts now as well. Um, yeah, I'll focus on Arco. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Um, and if it does, I can clean up Pythium straight afterwards, I suppose. Um, I mean, it really is tempting to just attack Pythium now, though, because he's just told me he's got no units and he's trying to recover. Um, which, I don't know, seems like weird information to volunteer, but, okay. We cast Arcane Probing, did we get a sight this time? Come on, you can do it. No, you fucking ass shit, okay. No Arcane Sights, Citramaya searched and found no sights. Whimsy found a site. Okay, boiling bog. That's actually surprising. <laughs> one fire gem and one water gem. Uh, which aren't terribly useful. Uh, but, you know. Gems is gems. Two gems a turn is basically an astral pearl per turn. When you think about it. Because I can alchemy them. Um, so we found one site. My Pretender did not find a site, however. Really not having much luck with these sites. Um, let's move my Pretender to Mountains of Mist. She can search there as well. And from there she can attack all of these provinces, so... Okay, what else? Uh, an unexpected event in Glimmering Fields. I lost some Dominion. Where is that? Oh, that's this province, okay. It's probably a good thing when I lose Dominion in a safe province. Because my... Um... My scales aren't pleasant, so... It's not too bad. Um... Okay, so that was everything, wasn't it? Yeah. So what are we doing? Let's have a look. This is our site searcher. Let's alchemy another... Uh, let's alchemy from water. And from death. Because I don't think I'm ever going to use death gems, at least not for a long time. You can keep casting arcane probing. We've got to find the site at some point. We can't just not find anything ever. Alright, more scouts up towards Arco. Uh, this is my little army now. That can 
go to Dardania, I suppose, and pick up some units there. Uh, Citramaya can research. This scout can head into your Arco territory. From looking at a lot of these provinces, this has no military units and no province defense. This one has um, no province defense and a single slinger. So Arco might have a lot of just lightly um, defended or just not like totally undefended provinces. So I might be able to scout cap a couple of things at the beginning of the war. Um, so let's actually move this scout away from Pythium. I don't care about Pythium anymore because he told me he's out of the fucking game, so that saves me some worry. Um, that scout can stay there for now. Oh, this scout is still on Lemuria's cap, that's fine. Uh, this one can stay there, I think. Yeah, you can stay there. Because that's going to see uh, Alma's movement, isn't it? Okay, what else have we got? Um, scout here. Pangea's got another fort as well. Uh, a lot of temples in this area. This is There's like four temples here from Alm there. And one from Pangea. Um, I can only assume that's to push back my horrible dominion. Because <laughs> they are right on my border. Um, okay, Silly, funny, mon silly funny Monkey has... Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of all this crap. 100 units in the garrison, and I can lead 100 units, so that's perfect. Let's see. Uh, melee squad. And an archer squad. And an undisciplined squad of uh, Marketa. Who are actually experienced Marketa, so there you go. Um, you can move to Dardania. Oh, next turn, I guess. Any other commanders? Another scout? Uh... Another scout? I've got a lot of scouts. I'm gonna move them all towards Arco. To see if I can cap any, um, provinces. <laughs> Cause they, it just says they're all free from military units. Maybe... Maybe Arco has stealth units or something? I don't know. Um, I might try building a fort here eventually, but for now he can patrol, I guess. Um, why not? I suppose he could blood hunt. He might not find anything, but... It's worth a shot, right? Um, that scout can stay there. Okay, so the three scouts aren't moving. They're fine. So let's do recruitment. Uh, get another Nagarishi. We recruited one of those last turn. What did I get? Earth 4. Wow. So with summon Earth power, that's Earth 5. In a communion, I might be able to get that up to 6 or 7. That's a big blade wind. So that's really good. Uh, I think he should be able to move to Dardania in one turn. Yes. So let's not worry about that. He can research for an hour and then we'll probably attack Arco in one turn, maybe two. Uh, and by then we should have... yes. We'll have evocation. We need one point in Thaumaturgy for communion. Uh, can't quite get that though. But yes I can. It's only 50. So there we go. So next turn I'll have Bladewind and communion. So that's nice. And then I guess I'll... I don't know, the, the choices between construction and alteration really. Uh, construction might be nice actually just to build endless bags of wine, because I'm going to have armies moving around and they're going to need supplies. And um, alteration would be nice for wind guide, but that's a, that's quite deep. Um, there's, some, uh, there's some nice spells here actually. Um, I don't know, it's, 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 you know, I've had nothing but indecision for the whole game so far about what to research first, but there we go. I think Conjuration first was a mistake just because I've got no astral income. Uh, 
so yeah, recruit a Nagarishi. Uh, let's not recruit any more units in Patala though, let's try and recruit some in Dodania. Uh, let's get 10 Bandor Warrior and 10 Light. Oh, I can't quite get 10. But... Okay. And a Yogi, of course. And the, the Yogis here will can just go into communes. So I should have 4 or 5 by the time I want to invade Arco. So I'll, I'll probably be attacking with like 10 or... 10 Mages or so. And, uh, yep. So that's this turn. I don't think there's anything else to do. So, we'll end it there.